um, your weather word for today uh, in the vein of concert, music, symphony. Symphony. Symphony, yeah. Okay, atmosphere can be very symphonic, symphionic. Symphony. A bunch of things working together. Something like that, that's yeah. it. Okay, we'll get Symphony in the forecast, Jay. Uh, live look right now. This is looking southbound off of our CSU camp. Look at the clouds today. Do you notice that they've got a little bit more bubble to them? It's a summer-like atmosphere. We've got warmer temperatures all the way up into the cloud level right now. A little bit of haze is around, around there as well uh, as we're pointing south towards the factories in Cleveland. But overall, what an afternoon. And what a midday for many of you down towards the south. Preliminary highs, this is what we've got so far. We'll get the officials number, official numbers here in about 15 minutes from the Weather Service. But this is what I've tracked so far. 67 officially in Cleveland does not break the record, but pretty darn close. Akron Canton smashes the record. 73 today in Akron. Ditto that in New Philly and Mansfield just shy of the record as well. Either way, we continue with the streak of warm Thursdays around here. And next Thursday doesn't look too bad either. We'll talk more about that in the long term. Temperatures right now, though, what a difference as you get up towards the lakeshore. So the cold front is technically already through us. The cold air is kind of lagging behind us. But where you're seeing temperatures drop up towards the Jefferson areas of Geauga County, Cuyahoga County as well, that's simply a wind shift, all right? The wind is out of the west northwest and that brings the lake into place so you can see the shadow of Lake Erie here bringing that colder air in. Meanwhile, if you're out of the shadow of Lake Erie, we're still sitting at 71 degrees in Akron. Not too bad of an afternoon, right? Wind continues to be on the gustier side, especially away from the lake. We've had gusts at times over 35 and this wind will continue to gust tonight. Tomorrow we'll start with gusty winds and then they'll back off throughout the day as this cold air starts to move in. You've got to get cold air here this time of year somehow, and that's usually via wind. You have to get warm air here this time of year. That's usually via wind. That's why we've had so much wind over the last couple weeks with these changes in air masses. Look at Nashville, 81 degrees, 86. That's hot for them down in Jackson right now. The warm air is starting to leave. We've got colder air coming in, and it is bitter cold out towards the northwest. Tomorrow, even by February standards, is going to be on the cold side as we look at the next 20 hours. There we go. A nice little downfall by tomorrow. We're in the 20s and we're stuck in the 20s. What a difference to go 30 or 40 degrees colder in a matter of several hours here, and that's what we're going to do tonight. The big picture, this system was quiet. This was system number two. You can see the low kind of swirling off towards the north. We've got clear skies here, at least temporarily. We will build those clouds in overnight tonight. The country is much quieter, exception being the west coast. You look at all the watches and warnings. Remember, this was lighting up like a Christmas tree yesterday. A little bit of snow out east, some fog down south, but the bitter cold's the big story nationally and then this winter storm out towards the west areas all the way down into Southern California. We're talking four to five feet of snow in the mountains. This is wonderful for their drought, which continues to get chipped away at. If you wonder where winter has been, it has been out west, whereas the last couple of years they haven't had much out west in the eastern half of the country seen a lot of winter weather. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Here comes the cold tonight. That'll kick off some lake effect clouds as we go through time. The lake, the atmosphere with that cold air, it's almost like a symphony, just kind of playing back and forth where it brings that. Oh, nice mother word. I like that. That's good music. You can see how things, uh, you know, the just kind of steep. That's basically what the lake is doing. Tomorrow we'll start with some lake effect clouds, maybe some flurries around. Models tell them to underdo that. They think the lakes have a lot of ice on them. They don't, so we could see some lake effect snow showers. Not a lot of moisture to work with, though. Otherwise, sunny tomorrow and cold. We'll be in the 20s pretty much all day. A look ahead at Saturday. There'll be a weak system that glides by to the north Saturday morning, so can't rule out some snow showers to get you started on your Saturday, but then we'll bring back sunshine and we're talking highs in the 40s on Saturday, so fairly comfortable. Where do we go from there? Another system next week. This is the first one we're going to watch. This is Monday into Tuesday. A lot of wind. All these isobars tell you how windy and how strong that low is, so we'll get a nice south wind in here. We'll bring more rain. Yes, rain with this. Very similar to the last few systems we've had. All the snow off towards the north or the west. Maybe a little bit of snow to finish there on Tuesday. And then another system that we're watching that looks to be a stronger one. This one takes a little bit different of a path. We'll see timing and adjustment on this area of this low pressure next Thursday, Friday remains to be seen. But as of right now, it looks like rain, maybe some thunderstorms. And then do we get some snow on the backside of that? Well, we'll see what happens. The trend tends to stay the same, and that's really where we've been. But overall, that means these up and down temperatures continue. Union Home Mortgage, seven day forecast, 20s tomorrow. That's as cold as we get, though. We'll bounce right out this weekend. Weekend looks good. We'll have increasing clouds on Sunday. There's your rain and wind on Monday. Tuesday, some lingering rain or snow early, and then we deal with that next system later next week. 
But overall, if you're looking for a big snowfall, we're running out of days here. We still have March, though. <laughs> That's true, we do. Uh, well done on the symphony. And yeah, surely like our director music. with the sound effect. That was well done. Clutch. Oh, Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Thank you, Shirley. <laughs> okay, Nat, thank you, too, for the forecast.